to Y Doc Project 365, episode 960. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewadoc.com. Check out all of our full-length episodes. That's where you have. That's where we house them. Also, jump on into the Q&A section, ask a question, or uh, add in, add your opinion to a ongoing conversation. Guys, found ourselves out here at Barbell Society. Uh, down in Miami and uh, always still trying to get our workouts in there was an interesting little tip uh, I really liked I, I found on social media, you know wandering around myself. I'm gonna spread the love I, uh, I, I do forget the, the name, but I promise because I have it up on uh, I have a picture of it So I'm gonna make sure that I cite it properly. This does not come from me But I did like it and I thought it was really cool So we're here on our rower and we're trying to build power through our stroke, right? What's a way in which we can overload um, this handle? And it's by taking a simple jump stretch band. Obviously, you can start at whatever weight it is that you're trying to get, but you're gonna take that simple jump stretch band and everything else being the same, you already set up and everything like that, you're gonna push it up and over this vertical collar, right? This vertical truss on the rower itself. Make sure it's nice and even Right, and then we're gonna slip it through the band itself, okay? Or through the handles on each end. So you look like this, okay? Now, you can push it in just a little bit. I haven't had any trouble when I, when I start playing with this. I put it right to the insides of my hands, right? Now, the little drill that I've been doing is 10 calories, right? Band it, and then I just flip it right off, okay? So if I was to go ahead and get set up, if you have to, then we're gonna go ahead and you know, strapping our feet, everything else is like that the same. You can get it just how it's like that, right? So take our same stroke, but we're gonna notice is immediately you start building resistance here. So two things, it's harder for me not to get pulled forward, right? And it takes a lot more leg strength to come back and that snap at the end, right? So it's kind of like overloading the stroke. And it'll feel super weird to begin with, but once you finish up and you unload this sucker and you come back in, man, it really gives you a, a feel for the additional power needed. It almost like lightens it up and it adds some snap to that, uh, to that power stroke, right? So if you're looking to increase power, try this little drill. Three rounds, 10 calories, banded to whatever setting, just something additional. I'm using a pretty light to me medium light uh, jump stretch band. And then do an additional 10 calories following that. So you're gonna do a 20 calorie row. Rest a little bit, get a normal recovery, and try it again. Do three rounds of this, right? And you'll be surprised how snappy that, that stroke becomes. Guys, any questions, comments, please post this below. And as always, guys, we are Optimizing Function to optimize performance.